Unveiling Middle-Earth, The Creation Story in the Silmarillion, Part 1. Welcome to the world of Middle-Earth, where dragons fly, elves sing, and magic runs wild. But before the stories of hobbits and rings, there was the creation of Middle-Earth. In J.R.R. Tolkien's epic book, The Silmarillion, the tale of how the world came to be unfolds in a magnificent and awe-inspiring way. Number 13. The Music of the Ainur. The very beginning of Middle-Earth is marked by the music of the Ainur, a symphony of creation sung by the powerful beings known as the Ainur. Led by the supreme god Eru Iluvatar, the Ainur created a beautiful and harmonious melody that shaped the world and all its inhabitants. Number 12. The Vision of Iluvatar. As the music of the Ainur ended, Eru Iluvatar revealed to them a vision of the world they had just created. This vision showed the events that would unfold in Middle-Earth, including the rise and fall of various creatures, and the coming of the children of Iluvatar. Number 11. The Making of Arda. In order to make the world more tangible, the Ainur shaped the music into physical matter, creating the physical realm of Arda. They also created the two lamps, Iluin and Ormal, which would light the world until they were destroyed by the evil Melkor. Number 10. The Valar and Maiar. As the Ainur entered into the physical world of Arda, some of them chose to stay and become known as the Valar, the gods of Middle-earth. Others became the Maiar, lesser beings who served and assisted the Valar in their tasks. Number 9. The Darkening of Valinor. Melkor, the most powerful and rebellious of the Ainur, brought darkness and destruction to Arda. He destroyed the two lamps and caused chaos and devastation throughout the world. But the Valar were able to defeat Melkor and his followers and bring light back to Arda. Number 8. The Awakening of the Elves After the destruction caused by Melkor, Eru Iluvatar awoke the elves, the first of the children of Iluvatar. They were given the gift of immortality and were to be the guardians and keepers of Middle-earth. Number 7. The Coming of Men As the elves awoke, Eru Iluvatar also brought forth the race of men, the second and mortal children of Iluvatar. They were given the gift of freedom and were destined to shape the future of Middle-earth. Number 6. The Hiding of Valinor. To protect the elves from the dangers of Melkor and his followers, the Valar created the hidden land of Valinor and invited the elves to live there. This marked the beginning of the long and complex relationship between the Valar and the children of Iluvatar. Number 5. The Sun and Moon. As time passed, the Valar created the Sun and Moon to light the world of Arda. The Sun was guided by the Maya Aryan, while the Moon was guided by the Maya Tilian. This brought about the existence of day and night, and marked the passing of time in Middle-earth. Number 4. The First Age With the coming of the elves, the First Age of Middle-earth began. It was a time of great turmoil and conflict as the elves and men fought against Melkor and his dark forces. But it was also a time of great beauty and wonder, as the elves flourished in their kingdoms and the Valar watched over them. Number 3. The Second Age. The Second Age saw the rise of the Numenorians, a mighty race of men who were blessed with long life and great power. They formed a strong alliance with the Elves and the Valar, and together they fought against the dark forces of Middle-earth. Number 2. The Third Age. As the Second Age came to an end, the Third Age began, and marked the start of the events told in The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. The power of the Elves and the Valar diminished, and the fate of Middle-earth was placed in the hands of the mortal races. Number 1. The Rings of Power In the Third Age, the Dark Lord Sauron attempted to take control of Middle-earth by creating the Rings of Power. But the Elves and Men united and defeated Sauron, leading to the eventual destruction of the One Ring and the defeat of evil. Get ready to discover the origins of this beloved fantasy world in the creation story of the Silmarillion. Subscribe for part 2.